Welcome to our demonstration of NetSuite and Rio. NetSuite is your all-in-one business management system, while Rio is your mobility solution that extends that business management solutions into a mobile workforce out on the field. What we're going to look at today is a service-based demo. This demonstration is tailored for this purpose towards a business that will provide either maintenance or construction style services catered for businesses that are uh, managing projects within their system, whether that be service industries in the industrial space or in something like, say, aged care, or you're an on-demand business and you're looking to create your own Uber environment, uh, Rio is the tool that will allow us to provide mobility solutions. On screen at the moment, what you're looking at here is a typical NetSuite screen. Uh, out of that NetSuite screen, we'll generally have reminders set up, navigation portlets, shortcut bars. Um, you'll see an alert here on uh, upcoming ma maintenance tasks. So if you are a maintenance business, uh, we'll have your maintenance alerts in here for the next jobs that are scheduled to be conducted. We have uh, project task reminders as well. So as you can see, I have a series of projects with various completion stages. Uh, within this demo, I'm going to drill into one of these projects so that we can show you um, some details within the work break st breakdown structure of the project. Uh, within this project, we have uh, various tasks that are still outstanding and a whole lot that are actually already been completed. If I drill into one of these completed tasks, what you'll see here is uh, work that's been estimated and with actual work that needs to be completed. You can see that it has already passed through from Rio. So we've got job attachments that have come through from Rio alongside uh, correspondence and job messaging that you've seen through Rio as well. So in this particular case, you can see that John Plummer has uh, communicated with the customer, confirmed he's coming on site, and you've got confirmation of completion from the customer just through the messaging chats that have gone through from Rio. If I go to a task that hasn't been completed, I'll go to the guttering task here. As you can see, uh, zero actual work conducted, no attachment, no messages. We have a generic assignee uh, allocated to this particular task. So this will go out to Rio. Rio is going to look for a certificate to plumber uh, with gas specialization on this particular task based on um, the resource allocation that we've done here. Rio will pick up these tasks as part of a uh, scheduled batch operation, can look for any tasks that are due to be uh, conducted over a selective period of time. Or for those businesses that are more ad hoc or on demand, we have that ability to send this through to Rio um, ad hoc. So at this juncture, what I'd like to do is cut across to Varun, who will run you through the allocation of these tasks through Rio, and we can look at the job scheduling ability there. Thanks, Peter. Today I'll be taking you through a complete service delivery life cycle uh, from service location to service delivery. The three primary user groups uh, who use uh, Rio would be the schedulers, service agents, and the customers. And we'll be looking at the system today from the point of view of all these three different users. Let's start with the scheduler view. What you see on the screen is a scheduler calendar view where you have a list of resources uh, for the company listed here on the left hand side and the bookings uh, just scattered around the, the day for those resources um, on the calendar here. I want to quickly take you through how the, the resource looks like, uh, you know, resource record looks like on the system. So when the re resource is onboarded, it's onboarded with the name of the resource, the last name, mobile number, and we also associate labels to a, to a resource. So in, for example, for DARP, we have a, a, a label called Roof Plumbing and Certificate 4, and that enables the system to allocate bookings which have the specific requirement. When bookings are pushed into Rio from NetSuite, they get auto allocated to resources. The rushing system uses three criteria for the auto allocation. The number one criteria is the capability of a resource. So I just, just mentioned there, when a booking does come into, uh, into Rio, it comes in with, uh, with requirements here. So it's a roof plumbing certificate for booking, which requires a resource who has those skill sets. And that's what the system uses to match the right booking to the right resource. 
The second criteria is the availability of a resource. This is where the system is going to look at the, the calendar of a resource and is going to uh, look whether the, whether the resource has availability on the calendar to take that booking. The third criteria that the system uses for allocation is the location of a resource. So I want to quickly go across to the resource record and see the location of a resource. So here, as you can see, the, location ha look, the, the resource has a work location uh, of Help Street. And that's the reason the booking that has come in for DARB has that location, which is closest to Help Street. Bookings can also be manually allocated by the scheduler. The elastic search capability of the systems makes it easier to search through the calendar. Just typing in the, the keywords there helps the, the scheduler go to the relevant booking. The keywords can be the name of the scheduler. I just typed out Ebony's name there and I could see the booking that have been delivered by Ebony. I can change the keywords to be the name of a service. And if I want to see all planned maintenance service that are being delivered, I will see the bookings which are specific to planned maintenance services. I can also type out location names there to quickly go and search bookings which are specific to a location. Bookings are color coded based on their current status. As you can see, as you can see on the screen, there are three different colors that you see. The green color signifies that the booking is currently in an active status. The gray color signifies the booking is finished and the, and the orange color signifies the booking has been confirmed and it's not started yet. So from a scheduler point of view, it's a, it's a good visual cue that the, that the scheduler gets on the calendar where he'll be able to see in one snapshot how the bookings are tracking for the day and can, get, can go and look at bookings which, which needs his attention. Let's take an example of a project task booking that is coming from NetSuite and open it as a scheduler. As you can see, this booking has already been auto allocated to John Plummer. The scheduler has access to the booking and communicate to a customer and a resource directly from that booking using the chat functionality of the system. So now as a scheduler, I want to send out a chat message to, to John Plummer. I can uh, you know, type a chat there for John Plummer. The scheduler can choose either the send to all option or internal only option to send out that message. Internal only option would mean this, this message would specifically be delivered to just a resource. Send to all option would mean the, the, the message will be delivered to everyone, including the customer. Let's now flip the view and look at this booking from a service agent and customer's point of view. The resource can access the booking from a mobile app. The resource can see all the historic bookings by clicking on the, the view all option. And you'll be able to see all the upcoming bookings as well, all the booking that have been de delivered previously. The resource can use the filters there to uh, filter booking based on the status. So if I want to see all the finished bookings for this resource, who's John Plummer, I'll be able to filter it out based on their status. Let's go ahead and look at the specific booking that has recently come in from NetSuite, which is a project task booking sent to John Plummer, uh, which is a stage two guttering project task. When I click on that booking, the booking opens up on my mobile screen and shows me a few options here. The first thing that a resource would do at this point of time is going to click on the dispatch button. Clicking on the dispatch button would mean that it's going to intimate the customer that the resource is on the way uh, to deliver the booking. I want to quickly open the customer view. So what you see on the right hand side is how the customer would interact with the booking from a mobile phone. I'll be opening the same booking from a customer's point of view and the customer at this point will be able to see the location of a resource and how far away the resource is from, from the job location. Once a resource reaches the location, resource is going to click on start button. That is going to indicate that the journey has finished and the system will be able to calculate the distance traveled uh, and time traveled to the booking. 
some of the businesses use that information to build their customers. So the system does give you the ability to calculate the, the distance tra uh, travel and distance uh, and the time travel for the distance. When I click on the, on the form there, the system opens up a form. Now these are workflows that can be configured for forms. These are based on rules that you can set against each of those forms. Uh, for this specific demo, we have set up a swims checklist that should open up when you click on the active button there. These rules can be customized based on the requirements of, of a business. The forms are smart forms, which would mean that uh, the option that you choose uh, it, where while filling up the forms is going to determine the, the future flow of the form. When the form is filled out, the forms can be submitted, which is going to sit and reside here in the chat bar here. The resource can use the chat option to directly communicate to a customer. Using the send to all option is going to send this message to everyone, including the customer. Moving on to the customer side of the application, which when the customer opens the chat option, he'll be able to see the message that has been typed out uh, by the resource and this customer can use that chat, chat option or chat feature to communicate back to a resource. The resource can see greater details and more details about the booking by clicking on the details and phone number section. This section will provide the, the resource, uh, the location of the booking, what are the preferences uh, or skill sets required for the booking, the customer name, customer details, and other relevant booking related details. If there are any notes or background that are, be to, are to be sent along with the booking, those notes and backgrounds can also be pushed in from NetSuite and the, the carer will be able to, uh, to see those, those notes uh, on the mobile app. The system also gives you the ability to, to generate quotes and invoices on site and also collect payments on site. So clicking on the quote and invoice option there, the resource can add billing items and submit them. Once the billing items have been added, these items can be accessed by the customer from the customer side of the app and can be approved. Once a code has been approved by a customer, this, this code would turn into an invoice and now the customer would have, would have an option to make a payment for this invoice. Time entry forms can also be filled on site, specific for project related tasks. The system gives you the ability to fill out manual times here in the, in the time entry form where start and end time can be captured. Travel mileage and job mileage can also be entered in this form. Once this form is submitted, the time that are entered here in this form will go into the project task and sit within, in, inside the project uh, in NetSuite. Once the booking has been completed, the resource will, will click on the finish button and that is going to finish the booking. We have again mandated another form, a closeout information form that needs to be filled out before a booking can be finished. Resource will be filling out the closeout information form and once submitting the form, the booking will be deemed finished. On the customer side, the customer at this point of time will have an option to, to leave a review of the service that was delivered by, this, by, the, uh, by the professional there. The system can use the, the rating that has been provided to resources to use that as an allocation criteria. So at, at some point of time, if a business needs uh, to allocate uh, bookings based on higher star ratings, uh, the system can be configured to, to handle those scenarios. 
when the booking is finished, all the data that is being captured during the booking. So this data would be the form that are filled, any images that were taken on site, uh, all the times that were captured will all be written back to the project task in NetSuite.